As a means of transport, planes are highly useful for getting about the planet quickly. Nature has been an inspiration in this field. Airplanes have taken the shape of birds. Birds have streamlined shapes so that when they are in flight, the air can flow on their surface smoothly. Many engineers have witnessed a bird in flight and imagined how to fly similar to them. The Wright brothers regularly observed birds. They noticed that birds soared into the wind and that the air flowing over the curved surface of their wings created lift. But what else has been adopted from birds? Birds that flock together stay together. Perhaps that idea is more useful in practice than we first thought. This is Engineer's Muse, and today we are going to look at how birds have inspired airplanes. In the avian world, there is the owl, that bird of prey that stalks its prey at night, and it does so almost silently. Perhaps you've been lucky enough to witness an owl in action and realize that it can glide through the air without a whisper. But how do they do this? Well, thankfully, Robert Rule Graham, a British pilot, wrote about owls in 1934. Graham noticed a structure called the comb, which looks like a comb projecting forward from the wing's leading edge. Secondly, most of the owl wing is covered with a soft layer of velvety feathers. Lastly, he noticed that the feathers on the trailing edge of the wing form a ragged fringe. When a plane is landing, the noise is extremely loud but it's not from the engines. It's from the flow of air around the plane. The air rushing past the exposed edges of the wings translates to noise you hear when a plane flies over. Scientists have been trying to replicate how owls fly silently, and that's what Justin Jaworski and Ian Clark have been doing. The two tried to mimic the owl's velvet by covering a standard airfoil with various kinds of textiles. Eventually, the winning fabric was a wedding veil. And from this, the pair found even better results with affixing tiny plastic 3D printed finlets to the blades of a wind turbine. Along with the obvious copying of the bird's physical structure, researchers at the University of Denmark in 2017 designed an alternative organic interior structure for a Boeing 777 wing similar to the structure of a bird's wing which ended up being 5% lighter than a conventional wing structure. 5% may seem small, but in a world where flying is becoming more expensive, that could certainly add up over a fleet of aircraft. Major manufacturer Airbus is always looking for new innovative technology, and many of those come from birds. In 2021, Airbus launched an extra-performing wing demonstrator project focused on accelerating and validating technologies that will improve and optimize wing aerodynamics and performance for any future aircraft. Similar to how an eagle soars, adapting the shape, span, and surface of its wings and feathers, this demonstrator allows for increased flight efficiency. And it doesn't stop at just the bird's shapes, but surprisingly, even their flight patterns have been studied to progress human travel. Airbus has a program called FellowFly, which looks at how aircraft can benefit from why and how snow geese fly in a V shape. Airbus presented that the follower geese spent less energy by surfing on the wakes created by the leader bird. Similar to how drafting works for cyclists, Airbus is testing the idea of how a commercial aircraft could save 5 to 10 percent of fuel from what they have dubbed wake energy retrieval. In the future, we may see something similar to what Airbus rendered back in 2019, dubbed the Bird of Prey. This aircraft included a blended wing to fuselage joint that mirrors the graceful and aerodynamic arch of an eagle or falcon. Designed to inspire keen engineers, it represented the potential of biomimicry. There's many new ideas awaiting us in the future, and it's highly possible they are already being trialed at the moment. Stay tuned for the next episode of Engineer's Muse next week. In the meantime, check out our other original series.